everyone, Mama J here. Today I would like to show you guys how to do the waffle stitch. This is a blanket that I made using the Bernat blanket yarn. The waffle stitch works up really quick. It looks like it might be an intricate pattern, maybe a little more difficult to do, but it's actually quite simple. It uses just a double crochet and a front post double crochet. So let's get started. I'm going to be working with a foundation chain of 12 and that's multiples of three. So let's create our foundation chain. You create it for however long you want your project. If you're just going to do a swatch with me, let's go ahead and do 12 and I'll meet you at the end. So we have our 12. Now I'm going to add our plus four. It's so one, two, three, and four. Okay, for this pattern, you're going to need to know how to do a double crochet and a front post double crochet. And that's what gives us the height of the waffle. So we're going to do double crochet across our foundation chain here. To do a double crochet, you're going to yarn over and you're going to find the second chain from the hook. We're not going to count the chain that's on the hook. We're going to go two over. So there's one and two. So we're going to yarn over and we're going to insert our hook into that second chain. I'm going to yarn over to draw up another loop. You've got three loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. Now, I like this fabric because it's really stretchy. It's a lot easier to work with than what I thought it was going to be. So we're going to do another double crochet. So we're going to yarn over, insert our hook, pull through, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So again, we're doing double crochet, double crochet across the entire foundation chain. So we're going to yarn over, insert into our next chain, grab that yarn, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Another double, we're going to yarn over, we've got our yarn over here, we're going to insert into the next chain. Pull through another loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. All right, go ahead and pause the video at this point and do double crochet to the end of your row and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, we're down to the last chain on this foundation chain. So yarn over, insert into that last chain and we're gonna do a final double crochet. So there is our first row of double crochet. So to do our second row, we're going to chain one. This entire project, every new row, you're going to chain one and you're going to do a double crochet into that first stitch here. So that's going to keep in line with this double crochet on the end. So we're going to yarn over, insert into that stitch, yarn over, pull through a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So let me pull our sample piece back here. We're creating the two lines here. So we've done this one in the first stitch of the second row. Then we're going to do our first front post double. So I'm going to just leave this up here. So to do a front post double crochet, we're still going to do a double crochet. So we're going to yarn over, but instead of inserting the hook into the stitch, the top stitch of that next double, we're gonna go behind that post. So you can see with the double crochet, this is what we're calling the post. So we're gonna insert our hook after yarning over behind that post. You're going to grab that yarn and pull up a loop just like you would if we're going through the main 
stitch. So yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So that's our first front post double. So now we're up to these two here. So we're just gonna do two regular double crochet in the top of the next two stitches. So we're gonna yarn over, insert into that top stitch, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and do another double crochet in the top of the stitch. So yarn over, insert into the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, so now we're up to our next front post double, and that's going to go ahead and create our first waffle block. So we're gonna yarn over, and we're going to insert behind that post. We're going to yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So we're gonna keep in pattern. We've got our front post double, so then we've got two double crochet in the top of the stitch. So we're gonna yarn over, insert into the top of that stitch, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. For our second one, we're gonna yarn over, insert into the top of that stitch, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, now we're back to another front post double. I'm going to yarn over, insert it under that post, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. All right, now we're up to two doubles. Yarn over, insert to the top of that stitch, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Insert, top of that stitch, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. So now, keep them with pattern, we've got another front post, so we're gonna yarn over, insert behind that post, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. So now we're down to our last four. So let's look over here. So we're gonna have one, two, three, four. So we've just done this last front post. So then we have two front, two double crochet in the top of the stitch. So there's one. Yarn over, insert into the top of those two double crochet. And then we're going to do our last front post stitch of this row. Yarn over, insert behind the post, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two. So now we're down to this last one and where we made that chain one, that's what we're going to be working through. And that will finish off our row. And again, it's gonna be a double crochet. The entire pattern is double crochet. All right, so let's begin row two. So we're going to chain one and we're going to turn our work. And as I mentioned in the first row, we're always going to be working a double in that first stitch. So we're going to yarn over, insert into that first stitch, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. All right, so this second row is a little opposite. So let's turn our work backwards here. So this is where we're coming through with the second row. And as our first row, we're creating these double lines and then the one line in between. And that's the opposite of our front. So this pattern is going to be our double in the first, always that first stitch of the row. Then we're gonna do another double in the top of the stitch.
okay now we've got two front post double crochet right next to each other so we're going to yarn over go under that first front post Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And now we're gonna do our second front post. Yarn over, or insert your hook, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, now we've got our next double in the top of this stitch, so we're gonna yarn over, insert in the top of that stitch, Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, we're down to our next two front post double. Another front post double. And just make sure you're grabbing the entire post and you're not slipping it through any part of that stitch because you want a clean defined line coming around that post. Okay, and now we've got our next double in the top of the chain, so we're gonna yarn over, insert into that stitch, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, we're doing two front post double again. So yarn over, insert behind the post, pull through, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and pull through two. Okay, another front post, insert behind that post. Okay, we've got our next double in the top of the stitch. All right, I think you've got the pattern for the second row down, so go ahead and finish your row, and I'm gonna go ahead and finish mine and we'll get ready to begin our next row. Okay, we're down to the last two stitches of this row. We've got our two front post doubles together. So here we're just gonna have two double crochet in the top of our stitch. Yarn over, insert into the top of the stitch, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and pull through two. Just make sure that you're grabbing two good solid pieces of that chain, because you don't want to just grab one because you're going to stretch your edges out. So we're just going to make sure to grab both of those. You can see I got two on the hook. So yarn over. Draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, so there is our next row of two front post double, one double in the top stitch, two, one, two, one. And we're gonna alternate those two patterns throughout the entire project. So the next row, I'm gonna go ahead and get you started so you can see the repeat of the pattern. So we're going to chain one as always. We're going to yarn over to do a double crochet in that very first stitch. All right, so we've got our double in the first stitch. Now we're gonna do our front post. Yarn over, insert behind that post. Draw up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Okay. And as we did with our first row here of that front post pattern, it's going to be front post, double in the stitch, double in the stitch, front post. So now we're gonna do our two double in the top of that stitch. Yarn over, insert into that stitch. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Do our next front post double. Yarn over, draw up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. 
All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and close up one more waffle and then I'll cut you loose on your own. So yarn over, insert into the top of that next stitch. One more double into the top of the next stitch. And then a front post to close up that block. Slide under the post, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. So you can see how easy it is now that we've defined our pattern to follow this. And on the back side as well, you've got the same but opposite pattern. I hope you've enjoyed today's video and I, I hope you were able to get something out of it and I hope you enjoy using this waffle stitch. So thanks for watching and have a wonderful day. Happy yarning!